Hello guys, it's Emily. I'm, I kind of have a sore throat, so I'm talking a little weird. <clears throat> and I'll probably do that a lot in the video, too. Um, this is a video on how to be vegetarian slash pescatarian or anything in the vegetarian field. Or, I don't know, or a, a white meat vegetarian or, or a, um, a, a red meat vegetarian or whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is pretty much how, if you just don't like meat, kind of like me, I don't really, I'm not a big meat fan, it's really easy to give up um, meat, I'm a pescatarian, which is a person who um, eats no meat, but eats fish, it's like, people always get it wrong, um, a vegetarian eats strictly veggie, um, fruits, any, really anything. And then there's the vegans. The vegans are, eat nothing that come from an animal. Not milk, not eggs, not yogurt, not cheese, not nothing. See, I think it'd be really hard to be vegan, but yeah, you know. So I'm pescatarian. I do eat fish. I like, uh, it's going to be harder to give up fish. I'm going to give up fish eventually, but I... That's really my only protein source. Well, there's other protein sources, but meat and fish have very strong protein sources. That's why people don't like to give them up because they're really filled with protein and really good stuff for you. They're not not at all meat is good for you though. Sorry, that was awkward. Um, <clears throat> so what you can do is um they have other. Well, let me see. What, what would you call it? Um, like replacements, like um, these companies tend to make like other kinds of like th they'll they'll make it look meaty, but it's really not. It's it's protein, not like pure protein, but it's it's easier to give up. I guess that's what you can say. You can go to <clears throat> the the vegan slash vegetarian aisle which is in like it's kind of where you get all like your oriental um traveling kind of foods that's where it's kind of at and then you can get frozen vegetarian food which is like you can get chicken vegetarian chicken you can get vegetarian um beef burgers obviously stuff like that you can get even vegetarian fish, you can get vegetarian ground beef <coughs> for like chili or you can make it into a burger or whatever. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of su like substitutes for like, yeah, they'll still give you the amount of protein that you need. Um, when you become vegetarian, that does not give you any excuse to eat as much junk food as you did before you were, um, a meat eater. Like, like, I think you should stay more away from the junk food when you turn into a vegetarian, because, <clears throat> I don't know, you just, you, I think eating fruits and vegetables is a lot healthier for you than... It's just healthier, healthier than eating all that junk food, packing on those pounds. Usually, veg people that become vegetarian usually do it for weight loss, or they could just do it because their lifestyle does not believe in killing any animals to get their food. Um, I did it because, really, my English teacher is like a vegetarian and. She kind of inspired me to do it. Um, I don't particularly like her, but she kind of gave me the whole rigmarole of what they do with animals and processing and how they kill them. And yeah, very graphic and very gory. Our whole class was getting really sick and like flipping out about it. So <clears throat> yeah, well, if you are looking to be a vegetarian and stuff, um, like, like, for regular meat eaters and people that just are regular and eat all their meat and stuff and 
eat everything. You suppose when you're a vegetarian, you really gotta watch because you don't have all your protein because you're not, obviously not eating meat. Um, you gotta watch your counts of food a day. Don't overdose on veg vegetables and stuff. Well, you really can't, but sometimes you can. And fruits. Yeah, sorry. Well, um, really get this, get the substitutes. Watch your diet. Um, really focus on it all. Just focus on everything that you do. And sometimes when you go out, there might be, like, in soup. Sometimes they use chicken broth or beef, beef broth. Just simply ask the person if you, um, if they have any of that stuff in there. Or any meat in their soup. Because sometimes you really can't tell before you put it on your plate. Like, out in public. Like, going to a party or whatever. Just ask what they put in their stuff and just get all the information on it. Yeah, as you can see, my hair is growing longer. Pretty awesome. Yeah, my hair is all a little weird. Yeah, and I dyed. It's probably hard to see because this lighting is pretty crappy. Um, you can probably see this. I I put a little bit of blonde. Well, not me, but my grandma. She put a little bit of blonde streaks in my hair and. It's kind of awesome. <coughs> but yeah, um, pretty, you gotta really watch what you eat. You can eat a lot of substitutes for meat and stuff. And good luck being a vegetarian. I hope this video really helps because, um, we need all the vegetarians we can get. <laughs> no offense to you meat eaters, though, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye